released October 28, 2021 by publisher One c Entertainment and a developer Jeff Winner, Horror Story Hallow Seed is one of the creepiest games I've played in some time and I have obviously played a lot. Hello Seed is a horror game that feels like a mix between Outlast and Blair Witch, a game that manages to scare and creep you out, not with its jump scares, but psychologically gets under your skin and messes with your mind. <sighs> hey, wait! What the hell? This was interesting to say the least. Thanks to Stride PR for the review key. You will tell a story about this city? It's damned here. You know it's damned. Horror Story is a series created by the developer Jeff Winner, with Hallow Seed being the first installment. The story here is, three friends go camping in the woods, something weird and unexplainable happens, and now two are missing, and it's left to you, Michael, to figure out what's happened, find them, and get the hell out of this fictional town of Hallow Seed. Fuck. I... I have to get out of here. By me saying three friends went camping in the woods, you can tell, this story is off to a most generic start, and where the story is concerned, most of it remains that way, generic and convenient, but it's fine, as this game's strongest point is its atmosphere. And although it may not make sense hearing me say this, the atmosphere created here makes up for the weak story, it is true. Horror Story Hallow Seed does not play by conventional rules, and this is what kept me invested to the very end. Oh shit! Moving on to visuals, I am impressed. For an indie title, I was not expecting these visuals. The dev was able to complement this eerie story with equally unsettling visuals. You spend most of the game alone, either walking through the woods, in an old house, or underground. And the visuals here do a great job of pulling you in. Attention was paid to detail and the developers certainly went all out to ensure a triple A looking experience. Depending on the power of your PC, you can crank it all the way up to ultra, and even the purists shouldn't be disappointed. It's disgusting. Disappointment, however, did come from the lack of cutscenes. Where there should be cutscenes, there's only voice and text on a black screen. I would have even settled for stills instead of this. Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> sound. The sound design further proves the developer's passion for this project. The score is a major contributor to the mind games this game plays on you. My the sound effects, the ambient sounds, they all play their part in keeping the goosebumps raised and your heart pounding. <laughs> Who's out there? There are times when you might hear creepy singing, and when I say creepy, I've only heard this one other time in a Nicolas Cage movie, Drive Angry I think it's called, where these Satanists were singing a hymn in a church, but they did it in a most bizarre way, as if they were deliberately trying to make it sound twisted. This is what's done here, and while walking through this dilapidated house alone with only a flashlight, then this singing starts, hey, maybe this is one of those you need to experience it for yourself kind of things. There is voice acting, and I appreciate this. However, it's B-movie voice acting, and not B-movie voice acting at its finest. In the beginning, it sounds acceptable, but as the game progresses, as the story unfolds, more drama, more emotions are required from your protagonist. And that's where it starts to fall apart. The harder the voice actor tries, is the more he sounds like a tryhard. The power of Christ compels you! What is your name, demon?! The gameplay. Now, I believe if you have a problem with religion, if strong satanic or Christian content makes you uncomfortable, then steer clear. This is not the game for you. If slow burn walking simulators bore you, this is not for you. If hand holding and crystal clear objectives are your thing, curb your enthusiasm. Horror Story Hallow Seed does not play by the rules. This is not to say it's a difficult game, as it certainly isn't. The only difficulty you may find here is figuring out a lot of things by yourself. A lot of things follow a linear path, and objects you need to interact with are highlighted with white outlines, but the deeper you go down this rabbit hole are the weirder things get. You'll be playing for a long time, and figure, this is one of those walking sims where you can't fail, you can't die. Then you meet upon this creature that does something to you, and the next thing you know, there's a you failed screen. <laughs> it 
It took me a while to figure this part out because while all I had to do was run and hide in these things that resemble outhouses with crosses on them, running away wasn't as simple as I would have expected. It reached a point where, when I knew I was approaching one of these demons, I just start walking backwards, as I knew I'd have to run in the opposite direction. But when they show up, you have like a second to turn around and move. Also, sometimes all you may need to progress is a key. But although highlighted when you get close enough and look at it specifically, it's such a small item that's easy to overlook, highlighted or not. And like I said, this game does not hold your hand. This can lead to fatigue. So, for most part, because this is a walking sim with no real puzzles and no combat on your part, the mechanics, as obscure as they may be, work well enough. But then, there are parts like I mentioned that were not thought out well enough. And if you're not a fan of extremely slow build-ups, figure it out on your own type experiences, you may get frustrated and quit. Horror Story Hollow Seed gives me a personal feeling though, like the game was designed this way because it has deep meaning to the developer, who was unwilling to compromise certain factors to ensure his vision was realized, and I can respect that. So, while some elements here were weighing heavily on my patience, the thing that kept me invested in Horror Story Hollow Seed was its overall atmosphere and mystery. I'm going to have to admit, I was intrigued the entire way through. I just had to find out what was really going on, what would happen next. I found this game really unsettling, yes, but that's what kept me going, the unsettling cloud of mystery. The way this game plays with your mind pulls you into this world with little to no explanation. The way it slowly yet subtly changes, the way it completely disregards the standard expected video game rules. I mean, when you walk up to this piano and it tells you this is your save point, you play the piano to save, you may think, Okay, Resident Evil style, I'll be seeing more of these like the typewriters. But no, you never see another. The only control options are mouse and keyboard. And this is fine for those who like this setup. But again, I use a third party app which allows a game controller setup in any PC game. This worked best for me. I like to relax when playing games, casually or for reviews. I find that hard to do with a mouse and keyboard. Either way, the controls were pretty good for most part, except sometimes there was this bounce back when approaching certain items. I'd approach something, and my character would start walking backwards on his own. The walking animation also had a bouncy feel to it as well, but these were no deal breakers. The lowest point of Hallow Seed, however, was this recurring glitch that happened when I paused the game. I'd pause, but could not properly resume. The menu info would remain on the screen no matter what I did. This was irritating. It meant every time I paused, I'd have to go back to the main screen in order to correct this issue. Good thing is, this game has some decently placed autosave points, so I never ended up too far back, but still, this is an issue that needs to be corrected. We don't want to. We won't. So, Horror Story Hallow Seed was definitely worth the time, a unique horror game with many unconventional twists and turns, an overall generic story that could have been fleshed out more, but was delivered well regardless. Give Horror Story Hallow Seed a shot on Steam if you're into psychological horror games, if you're the kind of person who does not scare easily and you got that I dare you to scare me attitude. Horror Story Hallow Seed will prove to be a worthy contender. AAA games are all well and good, but many times, if you'd like a truly unique experience, one off the beaten path, then the indie scene is where you want to be. Show your support for independent game developers. Most if not all indie games are priced relatively low. Some are even free with the option to donate, so there's really no reason to pass. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Let's say I pissed you off though, then hey, we all know where to find those various hate buttons, don't we? Either way, I won't hold it against you. Our game is never over. <laughs> you will pay!